what is up youtube it's your girl kina back with another video so yes y'all read by the title i'm trying to figure out and help this girl because they said she was in jamaican or something or whatnot she was stuck in jamaican hotel and yes and i did a little research yesterday and i'm like that can't be her like y'all gonna see everything what i'm talking about um comment down below what y'all want to see next um, I know I've been gone because I had to get me a new light stand for YouTube because when I tried to do me a, a video like what last week my light wouldn't come on I was like I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna upload no video like that but yeah um, ignore this finger because this nail came off anyway so yeah um, all my social media sites will be down below and yeah without further ado let's get straight into this video and I'm going to try to find out like what's really going on um, and so yeah um, yeah so comment down below what y'all want to see next all my social media sites will be down below and yeah let's get straight to this video like comment and subscribe <laughs> two friends Amanda and Carolina um we're well we were staying and I'm still staying at Ocean Coral Spring Resort in Trelawney Jamaica West Indies my mother is here with me they are not allowing my mother to see me okay so basically we got to the resort on the 28th and we were going to leave Monday, February 1st. So in order to um, come back into the United States, you need a call back to the room and then my friends follow. Then there's a knock on the door and somebody's like, um, yeah, I'm the tourist manager, whatever the fuck his title was. And he's like, yeah, um, unfortunately you have to quarantine for 14 days. So I'm like quarantine for 14 days. I don't have COVID. Like, you know, something in your spirit, like when you know something is right or wrong, like I knew and I know to this second that I do not have COVID for to this second. Okay. I've been sick. No more. And so let me just pause it to say, she gets to later on in this footage, literally showing us the paperwork and getting up close and showing us the false negative. She does show us all of that. Mind you, her two homegirls were able to leave by signing NDAs. So they had to sign, non, her two homegirls had to sign non-disclosure agreements in order to leave the resort. I'll just say that and we'll just go ahead and watch the rest. First times from COVID start to now, never had COVID, never had the antibodies for COVID. I'm a fucking flight attendant. I work with COVID and I've never, never had COVID. You need to tell me I come to Jamaica and catch COVID? Come on. So anyway, I'm like, whatever. So I'm just complying because it's a real like shock to me. I'm like, what the hell? Is like, what the hell is going on? We came here for vacation and now this is turning left. So then they're like, you and your friends have to quarantine. So I'm thinking that me and my friends are going to be in the same room and we're going to be able to quarantine together. No. So the man is like, well, how much time do you need to pack up your things? I was like, give us 30 minutes because I'm trying to figure something out. You know, I'm like, is this really happening to me? Is this really happening to us? You know, we were having such a good time on this vacation and then just like that, everything is, you know, swiped under your feet. So anyway, um, the man comes back maybe 45 minutes later, and he's like, we're going to put you in a room. So I'm like, what room? 
Like, and I need to know what room my friends are going to because we're not... First of all, I didn't understand why we were being separated. That's number one. Number two, why can't I know what room my friends are going to? And why aren't the rooms right next to each other? Furthermore, I'm getting to that. So, um, immediately, I'm like, what is going on? Because it's getting scary now. Like, now I'm feeling very uneasy. So... I'm in the room by my Okay, so let's give a little bit of context as we go through because this is very long, but it's the only footage that we have and we haven't heard from her since. And her social media is weird and no one has been able to talk to her. You heard that recording at the very beginning of the video. We're going to go through it a little bit later. Uh, uh, again, I'll play it again of them literally trying to call the hotel and the hotel just being pretty janky and inconsistent with their responses when they answer the phone. So again, they arrived in Jamaica, Kalina Collier, her and her two friends, Carolina, Carolina, and Amanda on January 28th. And they were supposed to leave on February the 1st, Saturday, January 30th. Kalina is told by authorities that she is positive for COVID while her friends are told that they're negative and they were not given physical test results. Kalina and her two friends are put in separate rooms with no key so they cannot leave with no food and water according to what she's saying here. Myself, I was in room 1121, I believe. And yeah, so I'm in room 1121 and I'm in the room by myself. It's really dark in there. It's dirty. Um, we're on a side of the hotel that you can tell when they don't use these rooms for guests. Like, these rooms are not, like, there's not even all the pictures on the wall. Like, if I go in the bathroom, you'll see, like, the pictures aren't even on the wall. Like, the other room that we paid to be in. Like, they do not put guests in these rooms. I don't know if they're training rooms. I don't know what these rooms are for. I don't know if they're for swingers. I don't know what these rooms are for, but they're not for guests. And I don't know why we were put in these rooms. So, anyway, we're put in the rooms with no key to get out. Now, when we first got in the room, um, I was trying to ask the man for further like clarification on what was happening, what were the next steps, what was going to be happening to us. The man didn't know anything. So he didn't realize that I come from a Jamaican family, so I understand Patois, right? So the man is, before he closed the door on me, he's walking my friends to the other room. So I'm asking him and I'm like, where are my friends going? Because you're not going to just lock me up in a room, number one. And number two, you're not going to lock up my friends in a room. So I don't know where they are. It's not going to work. It's not going to work for me. So I'm asking the man, I'm like, where are you taking them? He's like, I'm not talking to you right now. Go in the room. Go in the room. Cursing me out, right? So I'm like, is he serious right now? So I go in the room because I'm, again, in shock. Like, this is not happening right now. So... The guy comes and he knocks on my door and he's with a security guard now. So now the security guard is standing behind him and he comes to the door and he was like, um, what was you trying to ask me? I said, why were you just so disrespectful to me? So we started going back and forth and I don't remember the correct exchange of words, but we were, yeah, I'm documenting because I'm not no fool, okay? So anyway, we're going back and forth and... He's, you know, cursing me out, talking in parts. So I'm cursing him back out, too, because I want you to know that I know what you're saying, and you're going to know what I'm saying, okay? Period. So he was saying something, and I was like, what is your number anyway in case I need to call you? Because you're not going to just lock me up in a room, and I don't know what's going on. So he gives me his number, and apparently he gave my friends his number as well. So this is where things took a turn. I closed the door in his face because I'm like, I'm done fucking talking to you. Like, I don't have anything else to say to you because you're being rude. And honestly, like, as a woman, there's certain ways that you speak to a woman. You do not speak to a woman any kind of way. I'm not a man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm by myself. You're not going to talk to me like that and try to make me feel, you know, inferior to you. It's not going to work. I'm not the one for that. So anyway... We're in the room. There's no water in the room. 
There's one sheet on the bed, one pillow on the bed. The room is freezing. The floor is dirty. There's hair all over the bathroom. The toilet is dirty. Like someone just sat their bare ass on that shit. Okay. The mirrors are filthy. The tiles in the the stand-up shower look like mold and all kinds of craziness. Like, it was disgusting. So I'm like, I can't shower in here. I can't brush my teeth in here. And to top it off, the... Okay, this is the um, last post that she made on Instagram, which I really don't believe it. It was her. I believe it's the people that have her in there. But this is the last um, post she made. And so I believe that the people had logged into her, you know, took her phone because, like I said, it was cameras in the the hotel and the bathroom. So, yeah, y'all will see, though. Keep on watching, though, for real. But it was brown. Yes, I took photos. I have proof of everything. The water was running brown. So that was it for me. I was like, I cannot brush my teeth. Like, I can't even brush my teeth in here. No. So I'm texting the guy, like, what is going on? What are the next steps? Like, what are we going to do? I have everything, guys. Yeah, I have everything. I vlogged everything because I was vlogging for my YouTube to make a travel vacation vlog. And it just turned into the trip from hell. But anyway, um, so I'm texting the guy. He's ignoring me. He's ignoring my friends. They're calling, too. They're being ignored. They had a lizard on their curtain inside. Let me show you guys this curtain. They had a lizard on it. Nobody came to help them. Um, so now we're in the room maybe, like, two hours now. Nobody has came to check on us. Nothing. So something told me to take you know pick my head out in the hallway to see what was going on who was out there sure enough there's a ser security guard out there so now i'm like okay now i'm scared because now there's someone there to attack me if i try to leave now i'm being held hostage oh yeah my friend's phone their phone right here did not work so if they didn't have service and the Wi-Fi was super janky in those rooms, if they did not have Wi-Fi, if I didn't have a way to contact them, like if I wasn't smart enough to call their phone, luckily there's another phone in the bathroom. They had to use the phone in the bathroom to contact me. Okay, like it was insane. So again, we're in there for like two hours. Nobody's bringing us food. Nobody's calling to say, are you okay? No water, nothing. Until... We've been reaching out to Corbett. We've reached out to everybody. Like, this is insane. If the staff is sleeping in that room, something is wrong. But anyway. So, after that, I'm blowing up the front desk. I'm like, somebody needs to change my room now. Like, or I'm leaving. And I'm coughing on everybody because I have COVID, remember? Mind you, I've never seen a result. My friends haven't seen a result. Nothing. So I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling, and I fell asleep on the bed. I was freezing in that room, freezing, right? So finally, someone calls me back. I think it was the nurse or whatever, and she's like, what's going on in the room? I'm like, what do you mean what's going on in the room? I'm in this room by myself. My friends are in the other room. They have an animal on their curtain. Their phone doesn't work. We haven't ate in hours. The water is brown. My TV doesn't work. That was another thing. The Wi-Fi is janky. I can't even talk to anybody. Like, what do you mean what is going on in the room? Fix it. You know what I mean? So... She's like, okay, so then I don't know who she called, but after she hung up with me, somebody else called my phone, and they were like, um, is everything okay? I'm calling from the guest service desk. So I gave her the laundry list of shit that was wrong, too. Like, what do you, you guys know that people don't stay in these rooms. Why would you even do that? After we spent our hard-earned money to stay at this resort, COVID or not, if I spend my money here, you need to keep up the hospitality you had when you didn't think I had COVID. And that's that. There's no negotiation about that. So anyway, finally, maybe an hour came, went by or whatever. And um, I think my friends told me first that um, they somebody came to move them to another room. 
So somebody came and moved them, and then someone came and knocked my door and was like, oh, it's time for you to move. So I literally moved one door down to 1123, where I am right now, and I've been in this room since Saturday, um, January 30th, and today is February 4th. I think I don't even know what day it is, what time it is. It's insane. So there's still a guard outside my door. Um, So I immediately was like, let's do a retest because... What? I immediately said, let's do a retest because this doesn't make sense. Guys, I don't even have a single symptom. And I'm not just saying that to say that. Like, if it's COVID, okay, you need to do it properly and don't make me feel like a prisoner. You know what I mean? So I immediately asked for a retest. So Sunday comes around and they're calling me, calling me. They're like, you need to go to the hospital. I said, go to the hospital. I said, for what? I want to retest. Uh, mind you, we paid $38 to take the COVID test here on the resort. So she's like, the nurse is like, oh, you need to go to the hospital. We're going to set up transportation for you to go. And they're going to take you and they're going to bring you right Social media sites will be down below. And she ain't got one because she got a business on the way. Um, it's only for babies over at night. So yeah. And when she turned 18 or, or 17. And okay. Or 17 and a half. share this video um and yeah i just try to help her like because everything is odd i don't i don't think when her friends got on the live i didn't show that part but it's on that girl page or not on that female page um but basically she's stuck in jamaican and on the island in a hotel and that's kind of weird because some of her friends was calling her and stuff, uh, calling the hotel, and they talking about the people at the front desk talking about some she don't want to speak to nobody right now. Why would somebody? Why would somebody say that? Like, come on now, y'all, use common sense. Like for real. But y'all, that's another this video. But I did my eyebrows, y'all, and they are looking so 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 good so the next video i probably might do like a natural look this is my natural look well it's something like my natural look i don't have on no foundation i just did my eyebrows the concealer and my eyelashes and my eyelashes and whatnot so yeah um without further ado y'all just give this a uh, big thumbs up y'all do y'all own research y'all if y'all want to call the hotel for help or whatnot y'all can so i'm just you know putting this out there because that's the first youtube channel i was on then somebody shared it to facebook it's also on my official page and i think i put that uh public because my official page is private anyways yeah um yeah so y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think um i don't think she's lying about anything that she's saying like because who would make up that whole story when she's grown okay and so yeah um yeah so 
Happy Leah. Say bye. Maybe not so I don't know what she's looking at. Say bye, YouTube. Okay, she's not even looking at y'all. But y'all do it on her shoes. Oh, say bye. Say bye, 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 bye. Okay, but look at my eyebrows, y'all. I really did that. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video. End this video. Because what if this was somebody that y'all knew? I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all would do the same thing. So yeah, and that's the only, the only thing, the only video that she had, you know. But I'm pretty sure it's gone now because the people that, whoever, you know, that owned the um, hotels, they deleted it and stuff. And also, um, it was like Instagram to make sure that you're okay. That's blocked too. So, yeah. It's, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. We're going to end this video. End this video. So yeah, say bye. Bye, puka, 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 pu